So yeah, this is not clickbait. I did in fact buy this game for 20 euros and I'm gonna show you here a screenshot uh, with the price. Uh, yes, I bought the like the Russian version, not the Russian version, but the like the CIS version, which uh, in those countries the game is cheaper, but still for 20 euros, you're not gonna find it anywhere. I was always looking at G2A for the CIS version uh, and it was always like 29 euros, 30 something, it was always like bouncing up and down and then one day just appears the 20 euros. I instantly go and buy it and well, here it is. Uh, and for 20 euros, the, the game is definitely worth it. But let's uh, play first uh, match and... Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm enjoying the game quite a bit. Uh, the guns are a bit unbalanced. Uh, I like the... Um, uh, which is the grease gun. I like the reloading on it. I think it's the best reloading sound on it. But it's a bit underrated, this SMG, because... Uh, like the fire rate is a bit slow and it's not like much recoil on it but when you like start to shoot it goes like left uh, left and right and you can't really control it that good and i almost always lose fights with it even though even <laughs> even though if i start shooting first i still might lose the fights but it's still one of my favorite guns in the game and as far of supply drops on this game well it's a bit easy to get them but so far from the supply drops that i got i got only shit now i'm recording with shadow play but i i noticed that when i start recording i lose like 5 to 10 fps while recording with shadow play but still the game works pretty fine i have no problems even though the game might not be optimized yet at fully 100 percent but the fps are pretty good as you can see at the top corner i hope you can see it i hope shadow play will record it uh, it's always like 100 fps plus of course, there will be some drops, 90, 70, 60, 50 sometimes, depending on the map, depending on the situation. Uh, but overall, the game is pretty well playable. The spray control on this gun is not that good. The, just hear that reloading sound. I love it so much. On other guns for this one, it's also good, but the, this one is just... I love it. I love the reload sound. I, like, I always like to play with a gun when the sound of the gun is good and also the reload sound is also good and with this gun i like that you can use a suppressor even though you don't have to equip, equip it you always have the suppressor if i press 2 i disable the suppressor i press 2 again and i enable the suppressor which yeah it's very good about this gun and you see there i kind of start to shoot first yet i lost the fight because yeah this gun this gun is a bit underrated in my opinion but maybe it will get the buff in the, in the future oh fuck and the thing about maps on this game there's so many routes there's so many routes you're gonna always almost always get killed from the back even though if, like you try to look everything you're gonna get killed always from the back not always but yeah many times I like it without suppressor, in fact. Ah, oh, I got him! I got killed from another one. Shit. Man, boots on the grounds, it's another story. It's, it's so freaking fun. But the maps aren't, aren't that fun uh, so far because they're kind of they're kind of big and this one is actually not that big and there's another one uh, on a ship i don't i don't know the name oh my god why me why me look there's two guys on the right and he goes for one kill i don't i don't know why it happens so many times like that <laughs> got it boy like i was saying uh, there's another map like on a ship where that map is maybe smaller than this one. Uh, I like that map as well. It's it's pretty fast paced. No, fuck, man. I need to always, I need to stop like reloading always. Like I shoot two, three bullets, kill one guy, and then I go reloading. I need to stop that. I always die because of that. And it's so stupid. What the fuck, see? I just come from there, he comes from like behind. It's, uh, there's so many routes on not on this map but on most of the maps so many routes uh, you're gonna always die from like 
behind and shit. But coming from jetpacks and stuff like that, where last year I bought actually Infinite Warfare and I played like 20 hours maybe, I just wish I never bought like Infinite Warfare. And Infinite Warfare wasn't even that bad of a game if it didn't have like uh, jetpacks and all the futuristic guns. There were so many stupid guns on that game that, I mean, I stopped playing the game because of those guns. Jetpacks w maybe weren't even that huge of a problem, but the futuristic guns... Yeah, you're gonna get like campers like this most of the times. It's so freaking annoying. But yeah, like, well, but yeah, like I was saying, it feels good to play again back like boots on the grounds with old guns. It's so good because futuristic guns, they kind of... They, they ruin the game, man. Infinite Warfare had a lot of retarded ass guns. Yeah, I wish I never bought that game. First video of the game, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. And let's try to open something. Here it goes, nothing. It's gonna be pretty shit. Let's see. And very shit. Holy goddamn.